Hi guys, I'm in Nakagawamachi, Tochigi Prefecture, where I've been invited to stay at a renovated Japanese traditional house that is now a hotel. Nakagawamachi is about three hours drive from Tokyo and an hour from Nikko and Mashiko. I drove up there with my family. It's in a beautiful location, there were quite a few activities in town to keep the kids occupied. The Izukate Hotel was the estate of the Izuka family and most of the current buildings were built in the late Meiji era, in the early 1900s. It's now a cultural heritage listed site and showing me around is Natalie, the hotel's concierge. We have renovated these from four buildings into six rooms. The new residence, Shintaku, we've separated into two rooms. So this was the main residence of the Izuka family. So I'm not sure how many people lived here, but it's a very big house. Over this side in the garden, which is your room for tonight, your house, was one branch of the family who lived in there. Then over here, this last store house is now renovated into two rooms. Okay, so to go to your room, which today is Hontaku, uh, we need to have a little walk together outside in the Shotengai. Prior to it becoming a hotel, it was unoccupied for 10 to 15 years, but was used very occasionally to host exhibitions. This grand gate here uh, is, used to be the, the main gate and it's remaining from end of Edo period. So that would be a, a couple of hundred years old at least. But we don't really use this entrance anymore. We're going to go to this little tiny hobbit hole here. Yes, please watch your head. <laughs> So why don't you use that main gate anymore? Uh, I guess the, probably the main reason is for privacy of our guests because it enters straight into the garden. Uh, well, people staying in the garden room, Hontaku, where you're staying tonight, uh, just passers by would be able to see. So okay. that's the main reason. Right. <laughs> and from here we have uh, the Wakimon, so side gate which is also remaining from Edo period, which I, I really love the, the shape of the, the roof on this. Thanks. Wow. We opened up in 2019, August 2019 is when we began business, but the actual uh, renovation and the planning took about four and a half years. So the actual renovation itself only mm -hmm. took about nine months. All right, and this is your room. Please. Yeah. Much of the character of the original buildings is preserved. Ceilings and most floors are original, a lot of the original wooden cabinets and drawers remain. And apart from the kitchen and bathrooms, the main difference is in the addition of some modern furnishings. Of course, insulation was added to walls, ceilings and floors, and old tatami was replaced. The Izuka family, who are the more traditional residents of this property, they were here for hundreds of years. They were the, the aristocrats of the area. But about 20 years ago, uh, they, all the remaining descendants moved away, uh, Tokyo and married and such. So it was empty. So uh, 
they thought it was a little bit motainai, a bit wasteful, right? So they gave it to Nakagawa Machi. Uh, and just before that, they also did the registration as a cultural heritage building. So Nakagawa Machi currently owned the, the residence. The last owner of it in the Izuka family, uh, Izuka Kiyo-san. She's an architect uh, living in Tokyo now and she had some kind of connection with my boss and um, she wanted him to, to do something with it. Uh, he has a restaurant as well as um, a farm stays business. So uh, it was then decided to do it as a hotel. Um, but so that was that was fine. I mean, getting that kind of her, per her permission, her wanting to yes. get on board with that. But then, because it's run by the city, to then get them to agree to to work together to make it into the hotel was a, a little bit more of a process. I believe it took about three years, and it was a lot of going and talking to. Uh, the, the locals here and the Shoten guy, the other business proprietors and first getting them on board with the project and then them helping to write letters to the, the city office to convince them that it was a good idea as well. Sisengawa is also original. Um, the only thing here is obviously these doors, windows leading to outside. These have all been put in after. Um, I believe there was nothing like this here <laughs> at all. Um, there's the Amado. Uh, okay. The Amado here, uh, which mainly used during rain, right? It means rain door. So um, these we use. You can still guests still use them now. So originally there would have been nothing between the inside of the house, this shoji, and the outdoors except for that wooden amado. That would have been a little cold in winter. It would have been a tad chilly, yes. <laughs> now, are these uh, windows double glazed? They're double glazed, yeah. So because um, these rooms were renovated to be more um, long-term stays and more with the inbound market in mind. Then he's thought about more Western style furnishings like the, the bathrooms that has the, the rain shower head, which you don't see so much in Japan. Also, I think the kitchen height that's higher than the average Japanese kitchen height too, thinking more about uh, Western visitors. I've been in Japan for, gosh, I think it's nine, nine and a half years, but in Nakagawa Machi now for almost two years at that time. I was working as an ALT, assistant language teacher, uh, teaching English up in Akita, uh, but that's not what I really wanted to do. I've always worked in the hospitality industry, but I, I really loved onsen when I lived there. So I thought, oh, I want to become onsen mama-san. So I uh, decided to go into the hospitality industry again, specifically hotels to, to learn. So I, um, I went to Tokyo and I worked there uh, for a few years. Uh, before deciding I want to be close to nature again. So I, I found the uh, information for Izukate and, and yeah, I came to, to work here a couple of years ago. It's great. It's, I mean, it's pretty much what I'm used to anyway from where I'm back in Australia, which is uh, around Byron Bay area. And I, I grew up in the more the hinterland. So uh, I had to travel anywhere to, to get to shops anyway. So it's pretty much the same. Particularly from Japanese guests' point of view, they really want to stay in Kura because usually you don't stay in Kura and there's not many uh, accommodations. I think each, each space was kind of thought about individually, right? It wasn't decided like, oh, we're going to use this for every single room. Probably only one, one light fixture which I've seen used 
three times and that's the one in the, in the doma in your room, right? right? The one yes. which you have also. I'm told that the Izuka family are really happy with the result. They are appreciative that the property has been given a new purpose in life, with memories being created within its walls again. Sometimes extended family members visit to show their children or grandchildren. They have many stories to tell, and as much as still original, they can appreciate their old memories in a slightly different setting. We have a gardener who comes here and, and takes care of everything, does the, the annual um, pre-winter trimming of all the, like the matsu and all everything. So some of you may have noticed this magnificent lawn. I spoke to the gardener about it and he's using a Japanese grass called korai. It's a slow growing zoysia grass. So why don't I switch to this grass? I may do, but it's not without its difficulties, as the gardener said it is affected by fungal diseases too. We'll see. One thing that I'm definitely keen to do at my house is this wall here. I'm thinking to use this style in my Japanese garden now, and have taken plenty of video to see how it's constructed. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you found that interesting and I'll see you next time. One more thing, after our stay at Izukate we headed over to nearby Daigo in northern Ibaraki for a couple of days of camping. It was a lovely drive through beautiful valleys and I thought it would be a nice spot for a holiday house or even to live if you wanted to get away from it all. So I'll put some links in the description to Akia Banks in the area. Also the full drive is available at my other bonus footage channel, link also in the description.